first bits are gonna be lined up. And now the question is, is Monty ready for this? I don't know if they're going to be ready for this smoke wall. And as that smoke wall is deployed, the bomb gets planted and not a single point of damage has been done yet. I say the bomb has been planted. It's a little bit of a messy one, but it does get down in the end. And that is a gorgeous grenade onto the head of Wara 2K. Falling back now, Monte. Do catch the head of Casanito. It's a game of trades here with the pistols. But still, time is ticking away and kicks on back to another. Joel, that's a fantastic shot on the USP. And he keeps applying the pressure but runs out of ammo. It's getting crazy towards the ramp. But now just Waro 2K in the one versus two. He's a menace on the orb, but not... Yeah, it's a really solid B push there from the side of Monty. And that nade... Ooh, just tickles Casanito for now. But it does deny him a rifle pickup temporarily. My god, the confidence on Warrow there as he swings into Stylies. It's just brimming from the young player. Warrow 2K is one of the players to be looking out for on the server right now. If you didn't know his name already, he is a rising Ukrainian star. Didn't have the best tenure towards the Mad Lions side of things, but on ex-Mad Lions, he certainly did. Placing very high in the Elisa Invitational and uh, winning Republic Season 3 against all odds with the dead team with the substitute of Red Star at the time. And uh, he was the MVP of the Grand Finals and the tournament. But Red Star making good use of his name here as he will decapitate a kit to send people. Incredibly pesky for the CT side. It's all well and good removing five bullets from the magazine, but untraceable spam is unavoidable. And look at this from Joel being boosted up behind the pillar. Such a mischievous spot as Warrow 2 came mischievous with his positioning. Finds two more heads to the tally and the upgraded pistols get bullied again and again. Boros as well chiming in as Danny does eventually catch him. But he cowers behind sight box and that's a nice double swing there. But very unfortunate for Danny. Four over on the e they need to rush Warrior here. Like, he's got an AWP, he's isolated, and as much as there is a sandbags player, these pistols, uh, they're meant to be fast. It's all Tech 9s, except for Aid Kit and Castanito, and they've already lost Danny, so that's one of the Tech 9s removed without any impact. Like, they, they just need to swing together. Why play so slow and calculated with just the pistols? You're only going to get a. They, they slow it down, which is strange, because that, you know. Obviously, a rotation will come in, but if they suddenly miss that presence, they think, okay, they might have changed their plan. We're going to look elsewhere. We're going to grab some extra intel. And that's, you know, that's eventually going to cost you your head. You can see right now, there is actually still three players alive here for the blue cheese. But the moment of oh my swings with his AWP. And now, just Casanito left, and he has an exactly an idea as to where he is. He needs to fake, though, and perhaps it will work. Oh, no time. But again, well played. I highly doubt it in fairness. <laughs> but Danny instead steals one away with the USP. Looking for more as he aggresses towards short. Nice reply from Red Star. But it takes us back to the 3v3. Joel. Uh, wow, that's just rude. Immediately decapitates the Joel Barrettas. But kicks on is ready for Joel's insane antics. As he flies through the air. And uh, is immediately shot down again by the anti-aircraft gun of the IGL. The Blue Jays Red Star has picked up the Julies though. And A-Kit is caught off guard. Leaving just kicks on in a 1v1 with Red Star. Only two bullets to the body needed from a USB here. And kicks on will deliver. Thank goodness for that. Honestly, there shouldn't be a problem for Monty to deal with this. Oh no. <laughs> that that oh. divorce is... Throws it, gets dinked, doesn't give a damn, flips over, and uh, we'll ruin the day of Danny. Warra's doing the same, because who doesn't love eco frames? I certainly do. And, wow, Jesus, that's a nice flick over from Joel. That's Come in as all four of the remaining T's are now set on B. There's a little bit of a gap to work with, not a second smoke. But they do have Boros pushed up close to deal with this. Ooh, I was going to say, this, this game has been so quick, I forgot this is the last round. They have to go for this retake with just MP9s and a Deagle. And, and it's not going very well for them, as, uh, well, that that's pretty much it. Yeah, Joel seals the deal, very appropriate. Joel has been a menace long, but it was just a second of panic for me, and I'm sure Blue Jays, as uh, the comms will have been lit up, as War 2K is going to attempt to light up these B-side players, looking for the heads of three, but can't find any just yet. Falls back away into the tunnels as he's now the last player alive in this one versus four. And that's very, very messy from Kickstarter. After a promising start, it's 
probably going to be Waru to win this battle. Although, I don't imagine... Oh! No, no, not like this. Oh, it's down to the 1v1. He finds two headshots in a row. Oh my god, Akit puts a shutdown to it, but that was... And I think that's exactly what they're going to do. Boros out first, or Boros is out first, sorry. And Akit will burn him with a Molotov. A good start and an even better reply from Akit. But Red Star's there to find yet another trade. Three versus three ensues. Health ain't looking great on the side of Monte right now. Uh, the weaponry's not fantastic on Stylies either. He's done great things with the scout thus far. Can he follow through as Danny? Oh, it's a great positioning and will catch Warrow off guard. Man advantage reobtained. And with that, they might be tempted to go for another aggressive long peak. But instead of that, they sit patiently down towards CT. Boosting up a player in Elevator. They need to be careful here as Joel starts the utility execute. And that's a lovely scout shot from Stylies. Just spins on out as a two-man crossfire. But unfortunately, the backside player is unable to capitalize as Kixon now has a low HP. Joel closing the gap. And this is going to be a nightmare for the young Swede. They've got the Eagles across the board. They've got one smoke on Waro, but they've also got Castanito pushing top mid faster than you can say top mid. And uh, he will cut down Boros very early doors. And Demku does trade, but that's a double for Stylies, making it easy as he styles on them. But Joel does land a nice one tap, meaning the B player does need to be careful. I say, Danny, just sit back tight in the corner, wait for your teammates to come on in. And that's exactly what he's going to do. As Danny is going to be overlooked by not just one, but two. Ooh, it's just three transfer. It's sexy. And smoke of mid to B. That will at least keep Kixon outside of it. And this is pretty interesting because players come wow. in sandwiching. But the defense, Stylies, Danny, everyone is chiming in there with the kills. Again, a player advantage now in favor of Blue Jays. The bomb can get planted and a lot of pressure onto Joel. Joel, I like his pro uh, active positioning, but again, it's very exposed towards the rest of CT. So he grabbed one, but now Red Star is left to clutch it out. One versus two. Ooh, great flashbang, <laughs> and he had the exact idea as to where Kassanito is going to be pushing from. Now, outplaying 8 Kid with the follow up. That's having just a bit of a deja vu. Oh, Boros, that is lovely to even find one whilst all the uh, the flashbangs were raining on in. But guess who it is to trade, Veronique? It is none other than Casanito. And now Stylies, he's having another day at the Rangers. It's just aimbot. It really is just aimbot. If Waro gets a lovely one dig, but that's all Waro is going. Back and forth now. Smokes are separating the two lineups here. Red Star certainly has an idea. Spot the player and... You gotta try and pick off of it. Now the Molotov on the side is definitely gonna make things a little bit more rough. And at the same time, one player each on both sides fault again. Also, Red Star and Stylies both are incredibly low. Boros still has that open hand. It's pretty well positioned. Holding long for the moment. Just trying to see what the CTs are gonna be doing. They're actually backing off. It's pretty interesting to see. Now, one oh, player coming in, they're going to go in for the split. Perhaps not great, because you might give them individual duels here that perhaps the T's could win. Not if Woro's looking the wrong way and looking into CT. And now <laughs> is uh, second half time now for Blue Jays against Monty back here on Dust2. 12 to 3 and already Red Star. Well, I guess uh, they eagerly want to change it around. Lots of kills flying in favor now on Monty. And they grab that. And pretty nifty when it comes to multi-fragging this series. But please do not push through that red star. That would be oh. the biggest mistake of your life. As there oh. are five pistol players just waiting patiently for your demise. Ooh. And that is just rude. Spamming through the smoke, putting one down to 30, one to 55, and he's going to do even oh. further damage as Red Star oh. it is another day at the Rangers. He is just dancing around oh, these no, short they, players. They all line up to... <sighs> Utility quite unnecessary, unnecessarily towards a long here, but Danny doesn't give a damn about wasted util because he doesn't waste the opportunity to frag onto DemQ. And now B is where Blue Jays again are going to bolster their attack towards. She just come in quickly and hot. Oh, Danny actually, um, for a second, thought he had the kill, missed it by just a bullet. 
It cost eventually him uh, his own head. Now the T's are gonna go for a change up, and suddenly oh, no. this round has crumbled. I mean, I don't want to underestimate Warwick. It looks like he might be overestimating himself. Ooh. He's looking to go against four players in upper tunnels. Oh. oh, there's no chance in hell. That was a very unwise decision. Should have fallen away with the A1S in tow. And with that, the B-bomb site is lost and Red Star has lost all hope. It's a one versus four retake onto the toughest site in the game. And uh, yeah, all he has is a deal and a scout. He might be able to find a rifle towards mid here, but it really does not matter. Casanito immediately shuts him down and that's a 16 to 8 scoreline for the side of Bells in the B apartments they're slowly stacking up what well, looks like to be a fast hit now that that smoke rains on down red star will be the first man in line to deal with them and they're not even going to clear him that's the bomb dropped and a great start here from red star warrior chimes in as well leaving just a kit in a precarious position finds the heads of two casanito doing more work and no way it's down to another 1v1 with warrior warrior dancing around can he pull this back once again as Casanito peeks on in and Waro through that Molotov but decides to wait for his teammates to back him up and the A-bomb site will be a place of contention as Aki gets a very nice opening frag there but oh. Boros just has to stand there and gets two for free. There's no trading at all and that's a big mess from the side of Blue Jays. Thankfully, the Stylies is able to catch one more towards Connector. But Joel, boosting up on top of Ticket, grabs the bomb carrier and another man advantage. Aikit, though, looking to do something about that man advantage. Snatches away another scalp. Joel pushes forward and because of it, kicks on, sets up the perfect crossfire. Red Star now swings on out though, sees kicks on hiding behind the wood, catches the first in aid kit, isolates his jaws, but can't isolate the site, but they are going to be slow. Gets a bit of time for Blue Jays to sake site presence, and that util is good at forcing the CT players even further back, but kicks on overextends. 2v2 now on the post blomp, but Monte still have a solid chance, especially if Danny peaks this. He's not going to peek for the flash, so that is a bit of intel here in favor of Monty. I've been looking, making a little bit of noise. So checking, you know, where's the bomb planted for? <laughs> but not aware that 8k is going to creep all the way in right from behind. And now they're positioned pretty well. Oh, Danny, though, swings in from ramp falls but a kid he is playing the waiting game he knows it's a fake and now they need to run away you can even snatch away the last kill you might... and a lot is still up for grabs well boros will be looking to grab a kill towards connector here sanito he stays hidden for now the gun barrel shows and casanito executes boros where he stands not been the best series for Boros today, but he is doing pretty well on Mirage. Just unlucky with the timings on that one. It's now Blue Jays. They continue towards B. Bomb has been dropped, but there's only one player left. Now it's Red Star. He's on an AWP. And that's not to say he's not a dashing player on the Orc, but Casanito tank. The Warriors on the Orc. Although Demq's going to immediately decapitate him before I can really set up any storyline there. Nice play from top mid. A solid start from uh, the Monty side, but so much can still change. Oh my god, Danny, up close with the duelies. We were talking about him earlier, how little impact he actually has been having in this game and overall. But now a bit of a change of pace. Very early aggression, and it, it seems very... But further out, check his corners, doesn't see the head. They've not seen each other, but Joel was right first. He gets still firing off on all cylinders with that AWP. He grabs a kit for his troubles, but there's no time. He has to run away. Oh my gosh, he's going to fire off a shot to successfully have connect to control. You look at this from Danny up close and personal to the T ramp. That util will now give up his position. Thankfully, Casanito catches Joel, so it will be a trade frag if they catch Danny. But Casanito balls the red star. The frags are flying everywhere. Danny peeks straight into the open arms of Boros. And this is where things get difficult, but Styley's finally showing up. Finds a great headshot onto Waro, giving us another 2v2 circumstances. Styley's here in the apartment. He knows exactly where the flash came from, spots the shoulder. And now he's eager for the kill, needs to swing, has an idea where a second player could be, and he grabs the kill, another reload, he is catching him off guard as well. So, the players one by one 
fall, but don't forget, oh, Boros it. is low. And at the same time, though, Danny is now the last player standing for Blue Jays. Gonna be expecting this kind of bite either as MQ, not like this, decapitates oh. Casanito. And this could well be it, Veronique, in regulation, you know, manner such as this. Oh, oh. Boris, not like this. Yeah, well, I guess right now it's all crumbling. It is uh, horror shining at right the exact moment. Boris finds another one. Akin does have that up now back in hand, but he now falls too. It's Kixen, the star player of the last round, but he now...